Good evening. The time is 9.51 p.m. 9.51 p.m. The day today is the 12th of March, 2020. The 12th of March, 2020. The day is Thursday. Thursday in Hebrew, Acknology T993. If the soul is born to a male, is Yao, like Dappy and Jeremy Corbyn. If the soul is born to a female, she is Ya, like my sister, and Ya Asantua, the Mason Conqueror. The characteristics of the first day soul is confrontational and aggressive. Confrontational and aggressive. My name is Kojo, it means I'm the Monday soul, the Monday born. If I was a female, I'd be at the water dance of grace. My soul's characteristics or our soul's characteristics is by Joe, the calm and peaceful seed, the calm and peaceful child. Get this. Today I was having a conversation with an individual. And I told that individual, yeah, that listen, yeah, we need, yeah, to fight the case for making cannabis legal. We need to fight the case. And the first thing he said to me was, bro, do you know how many big men them? Yeah. Do you know how many big men them since the day it was made illegal have been fighting? Do you know even Bob Marley, yeah, has been fighting and this and that and that? Yeah, listen, you're all right. But the problem is, yeah, even the big men couldn't get it. So how are we going to get it? And I said, by way of law. And this is, bro. Okay, explain yourself. So I said, I right, cool. My explanation is a bit long-winded. So I'm going to explain it to you another time. But I'm going to get you. Yeah, to listen to it, I said. He said, ah, cool. So this is my explanation. We start off with the word knowledge. Jesus Christ said, for the lack of knowledge, my people perish. And we all know, yeah, we all know. The answer to everything is hidden within knowledge. So knowledge ultimately holds the key to everything. Fact. But... What is knowledge? The key is knowledge. But what is knowledge? Because knowledge doesn't look like a normal key. So what is knowledge? That's the question. We have to go to the dictionary and the dictionary says, knowledge is acquired via experience or education. One, law. This is a matter of law. Why? It says experience or education. Now they say education is by law mandatory. But education is purporting to be leading you to knowledge. And if that's the case, knowledge gives you another route. So if you don't want education and if you refuse education and you're not turning up for school, yeah, the law shouldn't be able to hold you up. What the law should do is present you with the route of experience by law. But by law, they cannot make education. The only route for seeking knowledge. This is by the definition of the word knowledge. That's one. Two. Experience. What is experience? Yeah. Experience is that which you, you can testify to. Whether everyone else believes it or not. You can say, I don't care what you say, because I saw it for myself, I experienced it, I know it's possible, I just need to show you, because you haven't seen it, but I used to believe just like you, it was impossible, but now because I've seen it and I've experienced it, I know it is not impossible, experience. What is education? Education is someone's experience produced. So you can have an experience which you do not produce. 
But if you have an experience, which you then write your experience on paper and test your experience and then put the results out, if your experience is accepted by scholars and, and people who build education, then they add it to the category or to the catalog of, of, of experience that has been turned into what they call knowledge. And then it becomes part of education. But you see the word education, you have to really understand it. You have to understand it. It's actually two words merged into one. The two words are as follows. Educata. And the second word is Eon. So Educata Eon. So Eon is I-O-N. I-O-N. What is edu? Yeah, and why is it two words pushed in together? It's to tell you a secret about education. Yeah, the word edu. Yeah, when you go to um school or a place of learning, you're actually going there to receive edu. Educata. Yeah, educata. That's what you're going there to receive. Now get this. You see the word eon that makes educata. Edu, um, education, yeah, the word eon, its scientific meaning actually is, yeah, particles or protons that have positive and negative charges that attract to each other. So, this is talking about physics. Physics. So, get this when does educata become educata eon? Listen, if there's a class of 35. And the teacher is trying to deliver educata. And 10 people understand what the teacher is trying to deliver. All it means is that you see those 10 people. The style of teaching and the teacher's delivery has added eons. And therefore, because they are positively, positively charged to receive her style, her voice, her pizzazz, her way of explaining things, they got it. So, they can say in that classroom, they got educata eon. In other words, they got education. But you see the people who didn't get the teacher, what that means is simple. It means the teacher did not add enough positive neutrons and they weren't, yeah, it didn't receive them. Therefore, they didn't understand her. It doesn't mean they're dumb. It just means the teacher hasn't worked out how to please everyone. Let me prove it to you. The example I give you is the word medication. Medicata eon is the same scenario. When they give you medication, they haven't given you medication. What they've done is given you medicata. Now, now, the true test comes. If you take Medicata and Medicata heals you, it means Medicata has positive neutrons that your body accepted and recepted and gravitated to. Therefore, Medicata became Medicata eons, medication, because eons were added to it. But, but, if, if your body, yeah, if, your body does not accept the medicata offered to you. In other words, you your body rejects it, so you have an allergic reaction. What that means is that you received medicata that was not ionized or ion to your body. Therefore, you didn't receive medication. You received medicata. If you do not get your teacher, it doesn't mean what it means is that you haven't received education you received edu the eons haven't been added you see the difference but get this education is another man's experience untested by yourself but only agreed upon by yourself you 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 chase it to understand it so you can put it in the exam because even if you test yourself and come up with different results they will tell you it's wrong because education doesn't accept what the scholars haven't accepted into fact 
but experience does. But the basis of education is experience. So, get this. I'm going to show you something. This is how our argument starts. The foundation of law, any law written in the alphabetic sense or in English. So, for example, in the land of Ghana, yeah, our laws are written in English. Therefore, we're on the alphabetic template. Yeah, um, in England, where I'm from, our laws are written in English. Therefore, we're on the alphabetic template. But get this, England was built, yeah, upon, yeah, upon uh, many, many um, things. But get this, at a certain point, yeah, England took everything that they wanted to build and built the foundation of everything they wanted to build for their society upon the Bible. So the Bible is the foundation that the laws of England sits on. The Bible. Yeah? The Bible. Get this. We're going to stray away from that for a minute. Now watch. It is historical. Yeah? That you see the English language. It may have been spoken, but it wasn't a written language. And it is a historical fact that it was the Greeks who taught the English a system of writing languages of storing your past present and future but history also has it that the first three people to actually know the system were three gentlemen called aristotle plato and socrates but history always also says that they were greeks and history also says that they went to egypt to learn the system which they brought back, taught their people, and then taught the English, which the English then used to form their language. So, what is the system? Let's go through it. The Egyptians, the originators, they have 22 alphabetic character alphabet system called phonetic alphabetic characters. But they have 22. They taught this to the Grecians. So the Grecians became 22 phonetic alphabetic characters. They then taught this to the leaders of the English who are Freemasons. So the Freemasons are also, or also have an alphabet system that is 22 and is phonetic alphabetic just like the Egyptians. Okay. But to their people, the general public of the English, they didn't give them 22 phonetic alphabetic characters. They gave them 26 alphabet characters. Alphabet characters. Where did the other four come from? Why? And why did they not teach their people phonetics? Now understand this. Maybe yeah, the secret is if we can find proof yeah, of why they may have done it, in another language then we will be closer to understanding why they did that so where can we find the proof we can find the proof in ghana in hebrew acknology t99 tree tree is a language of the akans the akans they have 22 phonetic alphabetic characters just like the greeks egyptians and freemasons they also have another style of writing, it's called Edinkra. The Egyptians also have that writing. They call it hieroglyphics or hieroglyphics. Yeah? So watch this. If we can understand tree, we can translate ancient Egyptian language. And I can prove to you that the herb, yeah, has been marked as, yeah, the one thing you need for everything. So watch this. 
First of all, I need you to go to Exodus 28:17. Exodus 28:17 and read it to 21. See that device? It's called the Aaronic tongue. The Aaronic tongue. It's a language that if you understand how to use it, you can say one word. Yeah. But that one word, you to 12 different sects, so there were 12 tribes. The one word I say would mean different to all 12. But my message that I wanted to convey will be conveyed. A language of many tongues. It's called the Aaronic tongue. Now I want you to be careful. Who is Aaron? Yeah, Aaron was a Hebrew Levite high priest. A high priest is higher than the king or the queen. Because a high priest is denoted to take word direct from God to man. Whilst the king is man to man. It was good to have a high priest on your side. So get this, when Moses left the pharaohs, yeah, to follow God's words, he met his brother Aaron. Because get this, the foundations of the law is based on the Bible. So I'm going to prove to you. So what? He met his brother Aaron. His brother Aaron happened to be a very powerful individual anyway, a Hebrew Levite high priest who works with incense, herbs, who is a medicine man, who is also a priest, a preacher, a messenger, a this, a that, a language maker. But I want you to understand the importance of the story. Aaron who wears this breastplate accompanied his brother Moses to go and free the Israelites. But before that happens, yeah, what happened? Moses and Aaron went to the mountains and Moses was walking, listen carefully, was walking on his own. And then, and then, a talking bush or a bush suddenly lit fire. And then from within that fire, yeah, Moses heard a voice and it is said to be the voice of God. And the voice of God instructed Moses, yeah, to take his brother go to the land go to the land of the pharaohs and God assured him a victory understand that God assured Moses and Aaron a victory but the important thing is here yeah Moses before he set off he was given a message that message had to come through someone and it came through a tree now in english terms a tree is a tree but i can prove to you a tree is not just a tree and if i can prove to you a tree is not just a tree then it means you have to look deeper so watch in hebrew acknowledge t993 which will have the same basis to natural law as Egyptology. We believe that there are four things that comprise to make life. Asasiya, earth. Insu, water. Enframa, air. Evia, sun. Watch this. It's so easy to be wicked. The These four thing things are the yeah. four pillars of life, as the Egyptians will tell you, the four-sided pyramid. Is, if so one is missing, there is no life. If you connect one, yeah. then you have life. To see a so, person there, for me to be living, 20% of me you is earth. You know now get this, 20% yeah. is actually, actually a scientific know. deduction and a mathematical deduction. And if it has factual see, data in there, the knowledge says, yeah, then it, it is it even legal. Why? What do I mean because by that? Blended. They say 20%. It means it you're means you not 80% earth. You're, you're only 20%. It means you you're not 100%. Yeah. 
it actually means you're not perfect even fights you plan you're only 20 percent meaning out of the 100 percent of vegetation on the face of this planet listen carefully out of the 100 percent of the vegetation on this planet you this individual you the human being you are actually entitled to discover 20 percent out of them that are you that build you that turn you into goku let me tell you something about the word truth because you're 20 percent earth but you're not 100 percent earth it means scientifically and logically and, and factually that there are 80 percent of vegetation on this earth that when you eat it won't grow you some of them will kill you harm you Sorry, an alphabetic language. Do you see what I mean? So the aim is to locate your exact 20%. But get this, your exact 20% of Earth will make you who you are meant to be. Physically. Because there's a code in your DNA. And that code is built into nature. And that code of yours is 20% built into nature. If you locate that 20%, exactly how you are meant to look in life how you're meant to grow nature will nature will tell you and you will live exactly how long you're meant to live nature will tell you but you need to locate the exact 20 percent you are because we're all individual and and it's consume them right for the word hurts with double so understand this understand this R ah, seven T T eight eight. If you it's do a blanket letters. ban, yeah. yeah. If, you're if you do a blanket ban that whatever, on yeah, truth a herd or any vegetation, hurt exactly it means because there are people on both sides who will have the same numerical in a self, in a Goku's, every yeah, other are tied. If you add them whatever you or get, these particular like, tackle, do the math, you know do herbs you know and no because you 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 can't the stand system. these people when they are themselves every letter, you've had a blanket ban and i can yeah. prove so that you are so directly stopping someone's two, destiny ABC. because you see the problem with destiny is, two, two, two. is this for someone to achieve their destiny a lot of lives have to come down so moses met the herd and you see the herd yeah it told moses how to defeat them so watch this how do hebrew accounts see life we live in ghana ghana is a phonetic country english is not our, in, in our native tongue so when we talk about sankofa going back to your culture I'm going to show you that Ghanaians, the Ghanaian government need to quickly pack up and apologize yeah, for ever giving people trouble with holding this because I'm going to prove a point. In our culture, you cannot demonize yeah, a plant and if you do, we will suffer and we have been suffering. So watch this. <laughs> we see four things as I told you. But these four things, when they come together, they produce four different types of life. Yeah? The first one is Idria. When you put Idria on your plate to eat, you call it Idriane. So its full name is Idriani. Idria means tree or to plant. So a planted knee, Idriani. The second living being, yeah? is it doesn't matter which order bibi ni bibi doesn't mean black but it refers to the black race ni is the surname of the black race but it's the same as the surname of the tree race meaning the black race and the tree race are from one source from the creator and they are one so if the black race has been compared to the tree it means the tree has therefore been compared to the human race therefore the tree is human so watch when you apply true alphabet thirdly yeah so we have bro me bro doesn't mean white if it was an alphabetic language but it refers to white people it's the beginnings of the word bro i'm showing bro me and it will show again Brony, which refers to white people it, is true. it means the white people have the, the same surname 
they as like the creator, as the plant, as the black person. That's meaning right. we're all from one there's a, origin. There's a, there's a notion that the day Jesus and then the Christ fourth comes, one is yeah, if there's going to be a coming of Jesus Abua Christ, means a helper. Going to be, it's going Abua, to be like um, let's a say, help. The judgment day. Something that helps you is a helper. A lot of people, it refers to animals. Lying, so Santa's little helper. Killing, animals help murder. us. And they're doing it so, so we have abbreviation and Jesus Christ identified it. He said here, for the lack Abba. of knowledge my people perish what is Abba what does that mean he has to identify ni, what knowledge is so bro, therefore when ni, Jesus Christ identifies what knowledge is ni, and now you've got knowledge and now you realize they've been cheated no ni, it means because even the Bible will tell you only life was created in the image of God Thus, what do you the think tree is stands gonna upright it's gonna sound the like human the stands upright because the human is no different from the tree. The you got your hair, you got your, he's got his yeah. leaves. Oh, you are a walking, talking, breathing tree. You are reversed, engineered, breathing tree. The tree takes in carbon dioxide for food and breathes out oxygen. You take in oxygen for food and breathe out carbon dioxide. Reversed, engineered. There to help you. You see what I mean? So get this. Had Moses not met Idiani, who's a human, then Moses would not have got the message. But get this. What is special about Idiani? You see the word prophet. Prophet. In the dictionary, the word prophet, yeah, which is a word from the Bible, says, yeah, that a prophet is someone, yeah, who has been sent, yeah, by, or who has been given a message by Nanenyame God to give to mankind. Or a prophet is someone who performs miracle or both. So miracle and a message, someone who brings a message. Like John the Baptist in the Bible was a, was a messenger, a prophet. Jesus in the Bible is a prophet and a messenger. Because he brought a message and he said he performed miracles. Do you see what I mean? So get this. 66639, the square root, yeah? Of six, the square root of nine, the square the root tree, of three, which is a human being, are all on three six nine. Receive six, the six, message six, three, nine. from the Creator, the root of Almighty one. Creator. And the tree was told, you apply to Tell your brother, brother you Moses, not just the same. to go on you and get his brother, brother Aaron, and take the skills that I'm going to give you. And go and get me a sure victory. Now, hold on. Why would anyone ban you from or create a blanket ban on a particular type of tree or plantation? Because it's one that Moses claims speaks to you. It is one that experience, which is knowledge tells you when you tried it spoke to you but get this what were the messages were you able to comprehend and understand like Moses was or was it was it too much and it took over you and you couldn't explain yourself so you thought this thing makes you crazy but then you forgot scientifically you're only 20% earth, not 100%. So this could be one of those things that you shouldn't touch. So in a country like Ghana, where we are phonetics, where this code is hidden within our language, where it supports the Bible's argument, Love your neighbor as yourself. You see the trees? That's whom that sentence was talking about. The vegetation. You see, they are our neighbors. Edriani is Broni and Bibini's neighbors and Abua. And um, if we do not love them as we love ourselves, 
we are actually killing ourselves. Air is absolute to us. They are the only natural filters that clean the air for free for everyone. If we get rid of them, we're actually killing ourselves. But if we love them like we love ourselves, we're growing ourselves. You see what I mean? Love your neighbor as you love that soul. You have to identify who your neighbor is. Your neighbor is that which sustains you. That whom you rely on. We rely on trees and vegetations. For food. But for food, we have to pick exactly 20%. That is our DNA match. But get this, after that, we rely on them 100% for our air to saturate our water and add, and add natural enzymes to it and to block us from the shade of the sun when it's too much and not good for our skin. So if we love them as we love ourselves, then we will find that we're growing even better, longer, healthier. I can prove that the foundation of the English law says yeah that a tree once yeah spoke and delivered the message that defeated the pharaohs the pharmaceuticals is the same the word far p h a r all it means is the house of is egyptian is the house of Ra. when moses defeated the house of Ra. Those who revived the practice from the house of Ra, they straight away went to take over the medicines of the house of Ra. And how? How did that work? You see the house of Ra? They wanted control. It's a pyramid system where one sits at the top and claims to be God. But to claim to be God, you need people to agree that you are God. So using natural science and discovering what hills and what poisons these people yeah just like today they created things that made people addicted to things <coughs> addicted to things and then they used religion yeah and magic and mysticism yeah to surround themselves so get this it was a simple challenge Back in the day, people used to get sick and the community were fully aware this illness, eat that, that illness, eat this, this illness, eat that, that illness, eat this. They built Egypt. They built a city. They cut all the trees. They cut all the vegetation. So now you see the people, they had to rely on someone bringing in medication. You live in the city. You don't have free herbs around you. So you have to rely on someone buying it and bringing it in. So that's what the people started doing, relying on these people. And these people were feeding them junk, poisoning it and giving it to them. So they, were, they, they had pains in their legs. They would go and get medication for, what do you call it, painkiller, yeah? But then they will pick up an addiction for heroin. And then they will come back to the same people for, for the cure. They will give them the cure for the heroin, but they will give them something else. So they ended up, here yeah, becoming slaves to the system. Continuous. If you watch England, that's how it is. You go to the doctors, they immediately give you money because giving you, they immediately give you medicine. Why? Because giving you medicine is printing checks from the government parts. It's simple as that. Private individuals, private companies, they're just printing checks. Yeah? You take these medication, you don't get any better. The pharaohs. So, Moses got a message from nature to defeat the people who were using nature to their own benefit by poisoning nature to feed to people and then these people seized power again and then imposed a total ban on the messenger and made sure that when you get close to your brother Adriani the messenger yeah, you are jittery you are you you are already yeah, so out of your senses in terms of spiritually you're not there so you're not comfortable so you don't get any messages and when you do they're mad and then get this now they're running there to legalize it 
because they know there was an argument coming that would kill it. So they're running to legalize it, but get this. They're running and they're giving contracts only to their rich friends. Only to cool gangs. They're new gangs. They, they look fluffy and they look like, oh, just average Joe on a block over a little weed thing. But listen, these people are propped up by rich people. But that's not the problem. The problem is this. You see, the Bible also has the secret. It tells you, you see the tree that Moses got the message from. It wasn't a tree that was indoors. It was a tree that was outdoors. Receiving natural air, natural sun, natural water, natural earth. It was a tree that was exposed to life. Therefore received all the goodness of life. Plus was attached to life. Thus life was able to speak through that tree. They give you trees that they have grown under lights. They have taken away from the growth hormone, the sun. That's what the sun is. It's one pill for every living being. Imagine that. One pill for every living being on the face of this planet. A growth hormone, the sun. You just have to access it at the right time, wherever you are, in the right amount. So, Moses once defeated the pharaohs. You see, get this. What is coronavirus? Let me tell you something. You see coronavirus. Whether it's real or not, put that on the side. But let's just say it's real. Yeah. All it is is a disease that attacks your immune system. It's a disease that attacks your immune system. It means you need to build your immune system. Yeah. To a point where, yeah, even if you do get it, you'll be fighting it straight away. Let me tell you something about the family of plants called cannabis. Not each one of them will suit you, but there are over 32,000 species. Imagine that, that many varieties of them. Yeah, and there are other plants with, with similar sensations in a different family group. Listen, you can get oils from this thing. The oils, we know the health benefits. We know. I don't really advise smoking it. I don't advise smoking it. It's not actually for smoking. Yeah, it is actually herbal. It's tea. You're meant to take the oil. Yeah. And let me tell you, listen, there's nothing wrong. Yeah with um what you call it putting a little bit of um, the oil in your tea and drinking it yeah just before bedtime to to get listen it relaxes your muscles when you're sleeping for your body to grow your muscles need to be relaxed because you need your muscles to rest the problem is when you're tense with all the bullshit that's going on in the world yeah when you're tense you, you, your, your, your muscles are too tense and your body doesn't work as it should your mind needs to relax when you find the right one for you you will notice that that's what's going to happen now get this there's nothing stopping you from burning this thing yeah, around your house like in an incense pot just like the churches do let me prove to you why you see it is scientifically it is a fact that we are moving force fields let me explain it to you you see earth earth is earth water air and sun combined to a tip we live inside life earth water air and sun but we ourselves we are the same combination repackaged and smaller we are also earth water air and sun repackaged air is absolute to us the sun for our growth earth and water you see what I mean? 
Same example. So we're walking on ourselves when we walk on, on earth. We're walking on ourselves. So get this. Why would they give a blanket ban? But then now they make it legal. But get this. Controlled. They control the farms. They control the pesticides that are used to grow them. Because get this. If you grow something naturally. You will get the message nature wants you to have. And let me prove to you, this is true. We all have magnetic four fields around us. And to prove that, you just have to look at Earth. Earth has a magnetic force field around her that protects her and stops, yeah, other moving things within space from hitting her atmosphere easily. It's an invisible protective force, but it's there. It's there. Now, the human, we have it. It's invisible, it's there. But we allow people to easily break it. And let me prove to you it's true. You see, every tree yeah, has its. So the cannabis family, the smell, the smell. So if you have a cannabis tree here, let me show you how far its force fields go. You see, from the moment you sniff it and say, mm, there's something in the air around here, yeah? That's where the force field, the energy for it stops for you. You, yeah? That's how good your nose is. Someone will smell it further back. Someone will have to get closer. Everyone has a different energy. Yeah? Everyone has a different energy. So... This particular brother of ours and sister of ours, Adriani the Herb, yeah, her job, yeah, as their cans will say, and his job as their cans will say, is to give us everything that nature wants to give us. And like I said, Earth has a force field and is a, a radio transmitter and a radio receiver. When, when, you're, when you're transmitting radio, all you're doing is clocking into the, the radio frequency of Earth to carry your message from one point to the other or to carry your voice from one point to the other. But if Earth didn't have one, you couldn't log into it. So get this. When you smell, yeah, this thing, 